Before we proceed further and talk about performing CRUD operation in MongoDB, let's first talk a little bit about JSON and BSON data format and understand the difference between them. In the introduction of MongoDB lecture, we learned that with MongoDB, we work with JSON-like data, which is called as BSON. BSON is basically JSON data with few more data types. So if we want to insert a new document to a collection, that document is actually a BSON object. In the same way, when we fetch document from a collection, we get a BSON data in the result. In simple words, MongoDB stores data in the BSON format. BSON stands for binary JSON. So in this lecture, let's understand what is BSON data format and how it is different from JSON. Here we have an example of JSON data. Here I have a JSON file, which is called as customer.json. And in this JSON file, I have two JSON objects. This is the first JSON object and this is the second JSON object. And these two JSON objects are present inside an array. So here we have an array and inside this array we have two JSON objects. Now as we learned earlier, a JSON object starts and ends with a curly brace. And in there we have fields. So here this is one field. This gender is another field. This age is another field. So a JSON object or a document in MongoDB consists of fields and each field has a key and a value. Here this name is key and this John is its value. In the same way this gender is key and this string value male is its value. Then this age is key and for this age key this number 28 is its value. Now keep in mind that in JSON object the key must be wrapped within double quotes. These double quotation marks are important and it has to be used to define a key in JSON object. Then for each key, we are specifying a value. And the value which we specify to a key can be of any data type. It can be of any valid JavaScript data type. So to a key, we can assign a string value like we are doing for this name key and gender key. Here to these two keys, we are assigning a string value. Then we can also assign a numeric value. So to this age key, we are assigning a numeric value. Then to this is married, we are assigning a Boolean value. Now to a field, we can also assign null or undefined. So that is also possible because null and undefined are also JavaScript data types. Then we can also have nested JSON object and we can also store array in a field. And keep in mind that when you are assigning a string to a key, that string must be quoted with double quotes or single quotes. But if the value is a number or a boolean, then quotation marks are not required. So I hope the structure of the JSON object is clear to you. So we have learned that in MongoDB, a document is nothing but a JSON object. So when we want to insert a document in a collection of MongoDB database, we specify a JSON object. For example, Let's switch to MongoDB shell and let's say in the customer collection of this sample DB, I want to insert a document. So first of all, let's check what are all the available collections in this sample DB database. For that, we can type this show collections command. So in this sample DB database, we have this customer collection and we have this products collection. Now to this customer collection, let's say I want to add a customer. I want to add a document. For that, I can say DB dot customer dot insert one and to this insert one we need to specify a document a document is nothing but a json object and we learned that a json object starts and ends with a curly braces and inside that we specify fields so a field has a key so let's say our key is name and it has a value so we specify colon and after that we specify the value so let's say value is mark then let's specify another field for that we use comma and then we specify the name of the field. So here we can say age. Now here I'm not quoting this age key within quotes and MongoDB is going to accept this as long as there is no extra white space. So in a document, your key may or may not be quoted. So to this age key, let's assign a value, let's say maybe 28 and let's also create another field, maybe gender. So here also, I'm not quoting this gender key, but to this gender key, I'm going to assign a string value. 
and when we assign a string value to a key, that string value must be quoted. Here, let's say gender is male. Let's go ahead and let's close this insert one method and let's press enter. So this document has been inserted in this customer collection. So this message which you see here, it basically tells that the JSON object which we passed was accepted and it was inserted successfully. And MongoDB here also assigns an automatically created ID to this document. So this is the ID which has been added for this document which we just inserted. So if I go ahead and if I use find method on this customer collection to fetch all the documents from this customer collection, you will see that in this customer collection, we have two documents. This is the first document and this is the document which we have just inserted. And to this document, this ID field has been added automatically. We did not specify this underscore ID field. It has been added implicitly by MongoDB. So this is one another feature which is provided by MongoDB. Every document you insert gets a unique ID. And actually, you need to have a unique ID on every document. But as you saw here, you don't need to specify that unique ID explicitly. It is something which will be added to each document by MongoDB. And the type of this underscore ID field is object ID. And this object ID is another data type supported by MongoDB. And it is also possible to specify the value for this underscore ID explicitly. For example, let's say I want to add another document to this customer collection. And in this document, I'm going to specify this underscore ID property explicitly. And to this, I want to assign a string value. Let's say maybe unique ID one, something like this. Okay, then let me also specify this name key. Let's say name is Steve. And let's also specify the age key. And let's say age is 30. So here we have specified a document. And in this document, we are explicitly specifying the ID field. So in that case, MongoDB will not add this ID field implicitly. Instead, this ID field with this value will be used. So if I press enter, this document has been inserted in this customer collection. And if I go ahead and if I query that customer collection, you will see that in this customer collection, now we have three documents. So here we have this third document. And in this third document, we have this underscore ID field and it has this value which we specified while creating that document. So you can also specify this underscore ID field and a value for it explicitly. All right, now we learned that MongoDB does not store data in JSON format. Instead, it stores data in the BSON format, which stands for binary JSON. Now you don't need to care too much about BSON because all you will write and see is going to be JSON code. But behind the scenes, MongoDB will convert this JSON data into BSON before storing it. And this conversion is done by drivers. And MongoDB does this because of several reasons. First of all, storing and fetching BSON data is efficient and faster than storing JSON data. And BSON also supports additional data types. For example, this object type, which you see here, this is not supported by JSON, but it is supported by BSON. So if I try to use this object ID in JSON data, let's say to this document, I want to specify this underscore ID field. Key name should be within quotes. And to this, if I try to assign an object ID, you will notice that here we have this red squiggly because this object ID is not a valid type in JSON. But even though it is not a valid JSON, but MongoDB can understand it and take it as a valid data. And BSON also supports some other data types. For example, the data types for number. In JSON, we only have a number data type, but in BSON, we have integer data type, we have decimals, and we have other big numbers. And these are stored in different ways in different data types behind the scenes. So this is another difference between JSON and BSON. Now, you don't need to worry about BSON data too much because as I mentioned earlier, you are mostly going to work with JSON data. But you should know that your JSON data, the document which you insert in the MongoDB database, that will be stored as BSON data. And when you insert a document in a collection, if you don't specify this underscore ID field, MongoDB will automatically add this. Now, what will happen if we try to insert a document 
with the same underscore ID value. For example, let's try to add a new document and there for that document I'm specifying this underscore ID field and there I'm using this same value. Now we already have a document with this underscore ID value as you can see here. So what will happen if I try to insert a document with the same underscore ID value? Let's see that. Here, let's go ahead and let's change the name to something else, maybe Jonas. And let's change the age to 35. And let's insert this document. And you will notice that it has not inserted that document. Instead, we have an error. So basically, since we are trying to insert a document with an ID value which already exists in the collection, it is not allowing us to insert that document. So this underscore ID value must be unique in that collection. All right, let's go ahead and let's clear this cell. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.